The S60s and 70s were a dazzling period for Hollywood. Talented directors masterfully created art, and gifted actors and actresses rose to fame. One such actress was Jacqueline Bisset, whose charming persona and acting skills dominated Hollywood. Let's discover some interesting facts and rare photos of Jacqueline Bisset. But before that, please subscribe. Every day there are new videos on my channel. From the moment she entered the industry, Jacqueline Bisset captured the hearts of millions of movie lovers with her charm and acting ability. The star of many popular movies, such as The Deep, Bullet, and Airport, this blue-eyed beauty has several Golden Globe nominations in her bag, and has won one as well. Heritage Despite what many people seem to think, Jacqueline Bisset was not American. She was born on September 13, 1944, in Weybridge, Surrey, England to George Maxwell Fraser Bisted Arlette Alexander. Her parents were fairly successful in their professions, with her father being a general practitioner and her mother a lawyer. Her heritage is pretty unique too, as she is descended from several European cultures. Her father was Scottish, while her mother was half English and half French, having cycled from Paris during the Second World War to escape the German invasion. Growing up in Tylehurst, Although Bissett was born in Surrey, England, this is not where she was raised. She spent her youth in Tylehurst, a suburban town in Berkshire located just west of Reading. She grew up in a 17th century cottage with her family, and the cottage still exists today. Surprisingly, the cottage still belongs to her, and she spends almost half of every year in her childhood home in Berkshire. French Education Jacqueline's parents were affluent and well-respected due to their successful vocations as a general practitioner and a lawyer. As a result, Jacqueline grew up receiving the best education. She was educated in Lycée Francaise in London, a French co-educational school founded all the way back during World War I. She also received French language lessons from her mom and would often speak French with her siblings when she wanted to hide a secret from the neighborhood children. Ballet Lessons Jacqueline's privileged upbringing not only provided her with a top-notch education, but helped her shine in extracurricular activities as well. As a child, she received ballet lessons, a skill that later supported her in her acting career. As she grew up, she also began to take acting lessons and worked as a fashion model to pay for them. However, her days in the sun were short-lived. Her mother was diagnosed with disseminating sclerosis in her teenage years, and she soon faced the harsh reality of life. Her first ever film. Jacqueline's first acting gig was fairly forgettable. Her first appearance in a film was in 1965 when she was 20, one years old. She appeared in an uncredited role as a prospective model in Richard Lester's film The Knack, How to Get It, which was based on a play by Angelico. Although her role in the movie was insignificant, the movie as a whole was largely successful, winning the Palme d'Or at the 1965 Cannes Film Festival and being nominated for the Golden Bear in Berlin. Working with Roman Polanski, the success of her previous uncredited film, The Knack, and How to Get It, soon paved the way for her to more important and significant acting gigs. She made her official debut in 1966 in the movie Cool D. Sack, directed by the legendary director Roman Polanski. This was her second film appearance and she played a small role, but she received credit for it. However, in the credits, she was noted as Jackie Bissett as opposed to Jacqueline Bissett, her actual name. Contract with Fox Due to Bissett's success with the movies The Knack, and how to get it and cool de sack, she was soon offered a major role in two for The Road in 1967. The romantic comedy was critically acclaimed and received several Oscar and Golden Globe nominations. For Bissett, this was her first major role, and she got the opportunity to work with brilliant actors such as Albert Finney and Audrey Hepburn. She executed her job perfectly, and soon 20th Century Fox offered her a contract due to her exceptional performance. Double O Seven. Who wouldn't love to be a part of a James Bond movie? Soon after 20th Century Fox signed a contract with Jacqueline Bisset, the perfect opportunity arose for the young actress. She found herself playing the role of Miss Goodthighs in Casino Royale. No, not the one released in 2006. This Casino Royale was a James Bond satire released in 1960, seven, and featured an ensemble cast composed of many talented actors such as Peter Sellers, Ursula Andress, and Woody Allen. Needless to say, Bissett still managed to stand out amongst the stars and became a cult classic queen. Working in Africa 20th Century Fox certainly saw potential in Jacqueline Bissett, which is why they kept handing roles to her over and over again. Her first lead role, however, came the same year as Casino Royale in 1967. 
The Cape Town Affair, a remake of the 1953 spy film Pickup on South Street, was very different from any role she had played before. The film was shot in South Africa and was the first film for James Brolin, another excellent actor who would soon make a name for himself, replacing Maya Farrow. Whilst Bissett was already gaining attention with significant roles in her movies, her real big break came in 1968 when she got an opportunity to play the role of Norma Massiever in The Detective, a neo-noir crime film based on a novel by Roderick Thorpe of the same name. She was a replacement for the actress Mia Farrow and played opposite Frank Sinatra, who was at the height of his career at that time. The film was made by Fox, a production company that was already quite impressed with Bissett, being nominated for a Golden Globe. Jacqueline's train to fame never stopped. After impressive performances in films such as Two for the Road and The Detective, she was given an early starring role in The Sweet Ride, an American drama film with elements of surfing and biking. She played opposite Michael Sarazine, with whom she developed a romantic relationship afterward. The film was a great success, and Bissett received her first ever Golden Globe nomination as the best promising newcomer. Although she didn't end up winning, Bissett did eventually live up to her promise as a newcomer, starting to become popular. In the same year, Jacqueline Bissett received her Golden Globe nomination for her performance in The Sweet Ride. She was also featured in the American police thriller film, Bullet 90 in 1968. She played alongside the masculine action hero Steve McQueen as his character's girlfriend. The film was a huge success in the box office and was one of the top highest grossing films of the year. With her outstanding performances in Bullet and The Sweet Ride, she soon became the talk of the town in Hollywood. Her first love. Whilst filming The Sweet Ride, Bissett met the Canadian actor Michael Sarazen. In the movie, Sarazen's character was an aimless surfer who was convincing his girlfriend, played by Bissett, that he can only marry her after he got the beatnik life out of his system. Soon after filming, however, Bisset and Sarazen became involved in a romantic relationship in real life. The two stayed together for 14 years and appeared in two more films together, but they never married. Starring roles. In 1969, Jacqueline appeared in two more films, including one in which she was considered to have her first true starring role. The role was in the first time an American coming, a G comedy, where she played a character called Anna. In the same year, she appeared in a French film called Secret World, which was originally known as La Promesse. Although neither film was widely successful, the movies did solidify her acting career in Hollywood. That's all for today. If you liked this video, please subscribe and watch more videos on my channel. See you soon.